this is sticky um, stabiliser, okay? So I'm going to hoop some of this up, cut around so we can hoop it. We don't have to use this, but I thought I'd try it out, see what it's like. I have actually got some um, spray glue, which we could use, but I'm going to have a go at this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to peel this off. Of that. We'll just pop that over the top of that, like so. And then, actually, what I think what I might do is pop this on first, pop it onto this hoop. Okay, so it's nice and tight. And then, pop that in there, like that. Okay, like that. So this is all sticky here at the minute. So we'll just pop that in. We'll tighten our hoop up. Okay, so it's quite tight. All right, now we're going to have a pair of um, boxer shorts. And right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to attempt <laughs> I want it that way around because that's how the design's going. So I want to try and get that centerpiece here where the crutch is. So I pop it there. Center. I've got the center of the crutch there aligned with the center point there. And bring that down. I might be able to get a bit of my fabric spray as well and put that on. In fact, I think I will. I'll get some of the fabric spray, um, the fabric adhesive. So I've got some of this fabric spray here. Okay, so let's just pop some of that in. Okay, there. And stretch that out because we want it to lay as flat as possible. So. Let's spray some in there as well. I'll give you a close up in a minute of what it looks like. Now that should be okay. Okay, a bit more fabric stranded there because it doesn't seem to be. And I think it's double, there's double fabric in there, that's why it's doing that. I might, I'm wondering whether to stick some pins in there. I think I might. I've got my little pin cushion here. So that may help to pull it out a bit. And then I've pulled it straight across there again. I'll stick a pin in there. And as long as the top piece is nice and flat, because that's where our main lollipop's gonna go, and then we want the the stem of the lollipop, the stick, to come down here. So I might be able to put a pin in there, just to pull that straight a bit. I think what I might do is pin up there as well, just to, just to be on the safe side. I know it's got glue up there, but I wanna make sure that that doesn't budge. Okay, right, okay, so there we have our, the crutch of the uh, boxer shorts, all right, and yeah, I think my husband thinks I've gone mad. <laughs> right, let's pop that on the machine. Okay. 
Okay. Right. That's all on the machine. First bit's going to be the white stick coming down here. It's going to have an outline around it as well. So, right. Okay. So we should be able to start now. So let's have a look. We can pull this tight if we need to. that's good it hasn't gone on the exact steep seam there which is good uh, I'd rather it hadn't and of course the lollipop is going to come across here then the top of the lollipop and we will um, get this bit done okay so now we want some uh, should we have what color should we have we want some red we want some pink actually, we want the pink and then red in the centre. So yeah, we'll do that. So we'll change our thread for a pink. Okay, so that's that. change the thread for a red Right, now I am not, I, I'm in two minds whether to go around the edges of this because it's got a nice, it's got thick black lines, go around there, around there, around there, around there. And I actually like it just like that. So I think I'm going to leave it, take it off the hoop and have a look. Well, take it off the machine, have a look, see what it looks like just like this. And I think that's perfect. I don't really want to go all the way around the edge in black. And there's no other colour I can go around the edge in because it's not going to look right with this. So in black, it just seems pretty pointless to me. Um, so that's, that's enough for that at the moment. So we'll take this off. There we go. So it's that one. Right, let's have a look. So yeah, so I'm going to leave that at that. Let's just take our pins out a minute. Because we're going to take it off the hoop because now we're going to stitch on the leg part so yeah take that off a minute it's all temporary anyway now okay so we've used a bit of the stabiliser there which isn't going to be too much of a bother anyway because what I'll do is I shall stick another piece over the top of that uh, right let's just take our thread off of that right so, <laughs> look at that, look. Look at that. Right, so we've got that there, all right? Now what I want to do is I want to get the leg piece in, but I'm going to stick a piece of stabiliser on top of this first. So I'm going to get another piece of this. 
and just put pop that over the top of there okay so let's just peel this off okay and just lay that over there all right it's not going to matter i know it's the wrong way actually what am i doing i could do it the other way up and then it would stick to the other side now we're going to leave it like that okay what i could have done is stuck it on that side up there and then it would have carried on making that sticky never mind it's done now the job's done right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to spray some spray on there okay and i want to pop this okay so like so there so where i want it to stitch which is down the bottom part here as opposed to the center because there's more width at the bottom i'm going to give it a bit of a pin as well just to be on the safe side at the top there and I'm going to leave that bottom bit so there we go so hopefully we could pin that back just to keep that out of the way let's do that shall we okay now ideally there's the centre point there so it should come across hang on let's just want it to come across there, like that. I'll make sure there's enough width at the bottom for the design. There. Okay. Well, I'll put that back on the machine. Actually, have we got that the right way round? Yes, we have. Just making sure I've got it the right way round. It goes on the machine like that, and the writing's going that way. So, that up. Okay. Now, I would want a nice bright pink for this to match the lolly as well. So, I'm going to change my thread again. And away we go let's just thread up i really like these automatic threaders it's so so easy right there we go so let's have a look right are we ready for this okay so let's go should put the speed up a bit but never mind it's done now
해서 자, Stabilizers coming off as well. In the back. This is a tear away stabilizer, so we can get that off. Put that back over there. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, I'm well pleased with that. Look at that look. That turned out pretty good. Look. about that looks all right doesn't it <laughs> what do you think of that then there we go what do you think of that that looks pretty smart doesn't it and it's embroidered as well so it's gonna last and we've got a little lollipop there look as well yeah looks all right even the lollipop looks a bit bent <laughs> so yeah, so once they're on, yeah, should should look all right. There we go. So there's loads of different designs you can make up. There's obviously you can put all your own words in, and then you can add your little designs that you want to add, you know, as extras. Uh, there's quite a few good ones out there, like you could put a cockerel here. Um, I might do some HTV vinyl in a minute as well. So you could put a cockerel there and then just put the words big up here, maybe. Um, I do apologise if you're easily offended by this video. Um, maybe I should put a little thing at the front of the video just in case. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Just to be on the safe side. I don't want to offend anybody, but there we go. It's just like a nice Valentine's gag gift, isn't it? You know? Pretty cool. Well pleased with that. Right, I'm going to have a look and see if I can find something to do HTV vinyl with. Um, I'll have a go at that. I'll have a look. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe because it really does help me and helps my channel. And look out for future videos because, I don't know, I've got a few more ideas up my sleeve. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> right, I've put the design on my phone because it's easier for me. I'll, I can connect to it a lot easier with this. For some reason my laptop won't connect to my Joy, so... Right, let's get some of this done. So we take our little coating off and we just pop some of this on here. So I've basically done it with my iPhone here. It's so simple. All right, so we're going to go and load it. Okay, so we press go. this on okay pop that to its highest setting and get these ready now then so I put that here we have our design so I want to cut that half off pop that down there Okay, and we could put it there, couldn't we? Now that might be an idea. We could put it there, but will that HTV vinyl? Yeah, that'll be fine there, won't it? Right, let's try that, shall we? So we'll put that onto the waistband. So that's a nice size. Let's pop that there. 
Right, so we'll pop that on first. Get our mini Cricut press. This here, this HTV vinyl is actually glow in the dark, so I have to give it a good press. We want to make sure it's totally adhered to the fabric. So keep going over. It's quite a handy little um, heat press this. Right. There we go. Is that one? Okay. So now we're going to pop the chicken on. Or the chicken, we should say the cockerel. So we'll pop that. We'll try and get this as straight as we can. Without any creases. And we'll pop that like that. There we go. And... can see the crease however because there is a crease down the centre of this. I could have chose to put it to the side here but I'm quite happy with this here so it's only for my husband anyway. It's not like um, I'm going to be selling any of these but it would be a good idea. You could sell these couldn't you? alright doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, quite pleased with that. There. I don't know what my husband's going to say, mine. He'd probably think I'm taking the mickey, but... <laughs> yeah, look at that look. It's good isn't it? Wow. <sighs> Okay, looks all right, doesn't it? Do you know, you could actually, I might put them on my Etsy shop. <laughs> then, I don't know. <laughs> the only thing is, you can see the seam going down there where the crutch is, so um, could have put it that side and then the words that side to make it a bit neater, but it's just one of those gag gifts again. So there you go, HTV vinyl. If you ha and if you haven't got if you haven't got an embroidery machine and you've got a Cricut Joy or or a Cricut Explore or whatever HTV vinyl ideal you could use that so simple so quick easy or if you haven't got a Cricut but you've got an embroidery machine there we go look at that look yeah I think my husband's definitely going to think I'm taking the Mickey so <laughs> there we go. There. It's alright, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Not bad at all. I think I might go down and show my husband. See what he thinks. Yeah. I might film the process as well. I'll have a think about it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. As I've said already before. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Right. I'm off. And thank you for watching. Now over to the outtakes, if there are any. Bye! Yeah, right. <laughs> he wishes. <laughs> He'd probably laugh at me anyway. Never mind. It's only a joke. You know? It's just a joke. I hope you don't take it seriously. If he takes it seriously. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about this one. Do I or don't I give them to him? Hmm. I don't want to get his hopes up, you know? That's the last thing I want to do. <sighs> we'll have to have a serious think about this. Do I or don't I? <laughs> Martin! Can you come in a minute, please? Can you come here?
here, please. Just come here quickly. Yeah, man. You can put those in your drawer. Boy. You had a bit of an accident and then you had to go to, I don't know, the hospital or something. <laughs> they fell those on you. <laughs> that would be funny though, wouldn't it? No. 